In this section, we will get hands-on with the essentials of Wireshark 3 in where we will learn how to capture and display various protocol packets. In this video, we will learn how the packet capture process work. In a nutshell, you need a PCAP engine or a packet capture engine to be able to collect and analyze traffic. If you are using a Unix slash Linux operating system, you need the libpcap capture engine. If you are using Windows system, mainly old NT systems, it is recommended to have winpcap. Since this is outdated, it is recommended to only install npcap, which outperforms winpcap in many performance and security domains. When you open Wireshark, you will see all the listed interface below. You just need to double click on an interface and then capture will begin. Now let us see the dynamics behind packet capturing. All packet analysis tools work in the same way and Wireshark is not an exception. We have three main phases. The first phase is to capture the traffic from the NIC or the network internet card. The second stage is to decode the captured traffic and the third stage is to display the traffic in a human readable format. I can summarize that with the image on the screen. You have here the network at the bottom of the screen. This is where the actual traffic of hex dumps and bits and bytes. After that, you identify what do you want to capture from this network. We will go into the details of that in the upcoming lessons. After that, you capture the traffic and then you decode or you break into the traffic and then you display it in a human readable format. It's good to know here that packets enter the network card one frame at a time and the packet analysis software or Wireshark converts these bits into human readable form by decoding. So let's see how decoding works. Here we have the EPAN, which is the Ethereal Packet Analyzer Engine. As you know before Wireshark, the name was Ethereal. EPAN is still the core of the decoding engine in Wireshark. So the traffic goes through multiple phases from protocol tree, dissectors, dissector plugin, and display filter. Going again to the Wireshark interface, I will click here on my Wi-Fi and bring up the default view of Wireshark. You will see that the interface is split into three main sections. The packet list, which will display all the packets in the current capture, and here on the right, we have the intelligent scroll bar, which will help you go to trouble spots directly by pressing these various colors here. The second section is the packet details. So if you choose a packet here, you will get all the details in this section. As you can see, this is the resultant information of the decoders. And at the bottom here, you will have the packet bytes, hex dump, or raw data. You can right click here and show this data as bits. And if you notice that whatever I hover over a section in the packet details, the relevant bits and bytes in this case are being highlighted.